this video will talk about synthetic division. Okay, so we have synthetic division, which is really kind of like a shortcut. Because all we have to use are the coefficients. If we were to go back and look at our original problem, we'd see all these values showing up. So we don't have to use, do that. This here, we're talking about the zero at the divisor, so that's an important little fact. So let's start there. We have x plus 7, and we want to find the zero. When is it equal to zero? So x is equal to negative 7. So I need to use negative 7. And I also have to use the coefficients of this one. So we want to use the coefficients. So let's put those in there. We have the coefficient of x cubed is 1. Coefficient on of x squared is 5. Leave some space in between because you've got to add and subtract or add and multiply and do good stuff like that. And then it's minus 17x and then it's minus 26. We're going to write it like this. We're going to put our negative 7 out here. And what happens is down here is where our remainder starts. Now we've done this problem. This is the very first problem we did in long division. So we're going to be able to double check ourselves here. So here's the process. Okay, it starts right here. It starts right here. Drop down the first term. So we're going to take this one below the line. And then it says multiply the coefficient of the divisor and place it in the next column. So in other words, on this diagonal here, we want to multiply. So 1 times negative 7 is going to give me negative 7. Now it says add the column. The 5 plus a negative 7 is going to be negative 2. And again, we're going to multiply when we go this way. Negative 7 times negative 2 is going to give us a positive 14. And then we add, remember. So when we add there, we get a negative 3. This was a negative 2, just to remind ourselves. And then we take negative 3 times negative 7 and we get a positive 21. And if we add negative 26 and positive 21, we get a negative 5 remainder. So this is our remainder, and this is our quotient. It may not look much like a quotient right now, but it is. And here's how you do it. You got your remainder, and then you've got your constant, and then you've got your x term, and you've got your x squared term, and your x cubed term, and however else you want to go. So we have a remainder of negative 5, and then our quotient is negative 3 is the constant, and negative 2x is the x term, and then x squared would be our first term. There's your 1, your negative 2, and your negative 3, and then it would be, if you really wanted to write it in here as a polynomial, you could write it this way. So we think that it's x squared minus 2x minus 3 with a remainder of negative 5. Let's go back a few slides. And what did we get? x squared minus 2x minus 3 with a remainder of negative 5. If we could just see these in the split screen, it would be so much nicer. We can see that we actually get all those values just in a much simpler form. Okay, so what is the divisor? They sometimes call it c or sometimes they call it k. We want to know what the 0 is. So subtract the 3, and we want negative 3. Usually, whatever your polynomial here is, you want the opposite sign you see in the binomial. So we want a negative 3 on the outside. And see if you can set it up. I'm going to wait just a second. See if you can set up the dividend coefficients. You should have gotten 1, and then 0 for the squared term, minus 7, and 6. And this will be our remainder down here in this little box. So let's go to work. 1. Multiply on the diagonal and then place it inside. Add on the column. This gives us negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 on the diagonal gives us a positive 9. And when we add, we get 2. And 2 times negative 3 will give us negative 6. And when we add the column, we get 0. So remember, this is our constant. This is our x, and this is our x squared. So we end up with x squared minus 3x plus 2, and we have no remainder. And if we were to take that times our x plus 3, just to check one more time, add the remainder, which is just 0. x cubed looks good. 3x squared and negative 3x squared are going to cancel each other out, and we had no x squared term. Minus 7x, still looking good. Plus 6.